executed very well. Um, they know what they're doing. They play together, uh, expect to win, great attitude, and uh, been competitive in every game. With Peyton Ramsey, uh, Coach Antonio said he's like Brian in a lot of ways, Lewerke. Um how, how do you deal with his mobility and all that stuff? Just as we deal with the, all the other guys. He's a triple threat. That's why he's in the game. He was a nemesis to their defense uh, as a freshman. And uh, they knew what they had in this young man. He's a coach's kid. He understands the game. And he's, like I said, he's a triple threat. He's poised. He understands the game. And uh, you know, that's a good thing for them. Going back and watching the footage from the Minnesota game, now that you have a couple of days to kind of, kind of boil it, what would you kind of tell the guys um, on the defense after watching that fourth quarter? Finish. That's what the game's all about. You go from uh, in a high motor to four plays in the third quarter to have to get back out there and finish the game, and that's what it's all about. You got a young set of guys out there sometimes, and it's about finishing the game, and, and that was our big deal with them, finishing in the fourth quarter, and we didn't do that. Is that something that you kind of constantly harp on with the youth of this team since, you know, they might not have experienced that, you know, before? No doubt. And experience is the true teacher. Uh, and just in anything you do, and uh, that's what we're constantly building on that. And uh, everything's something new you have to learn and, and put it in the bank and, and, and learn from it. And our kids are doing that, and we, we got to continue to finish and, and learn from our mistakes. That's the game, and that's daily life. Joe Bocci said yesterday that he thinks the reason maybe the team is struggling in fourth quarter to close people out is guys are relaxing. And Obviously, he's working with them and talking with them about it. As a coach, is that just something? Because obviously, you don't teach it. You just want to beat your head against the wall sometimes with young players because of that kind of stuff. Well, and that's about all the things they're doing. I mean, whether that's schoolwork or whether that's uh, attention to detail in church when you're listening to the preacher and, and whether that's mom and dad when they're scolding you when you got to finish things. And uh, I think it's just a, a due process that we must go through and, and continue to give them that information that it, Life is about how you finish, and not necessarily how you start. Who can finish best in the teams that we play in the future? You got to be able to finish the games, and uh, yes, that's a part of what we're doing. And hey, the truth is in the pudding. We did not finish, and, and we're harping on that. Coach, can you talk about uh, Kenny Willickis and uh, kind of where he was when he first came in to where he is now? What the guy you're seeing now? Well, we're seeing the same guy. He was a linebacker coming here, so he's a linebacker that understands the defense. Uh, the ability to uh, to lead, um, and then being able to come to the to, to the defensive line and, and carry that over, uh, it's been a pleasure. So he was doing that from the start here, uh, just wanted to get bigger, faster, stronger. But he has always had that leadership coming from the linebacker position and, and leading our group. So we're proud of what he's doing. Your interior guys, Mike and, uh, and Raekwon, how much have you seen them develop, just grow over the course of the first six games? Well. Had to throw them in there last year. They, they've grown. They've matured. Uh, they continue to, to grasp and understand what we're trying to get done, and we like that. Uh, they're strong at the point of attack, and we got to bring the other guys along also with the ability to get them on the field. But those two guys have shown that uh, they understand the game and, and want to continue to improve. They're hungry all the time. So what we've seen is their maturation grow and, and, and being steady and consistent in what we ask them to do, not just one-hit wonders. Coach Antonio mentioned Naquan Jones and how you didn't have him last year. Has he been a difference maker for you guys this year? Well, again, he's a young kid that's a redshirt freshman, and we feel confident in putting him in the game. And, and he's shown that he can take the load, and we just got to continue to throw him in there. You know how it is with young guys. But we got to continue to put him in the game and, and expect to see him a lot more. But we're proud of what he's doing, and he's got to continue to mature and be consistent. For uh, Demetrius Cooper to kind of get back to where he is, I mean, can you just speak about his journey about you know what he's kind of learned over the last X amount of months? Well, he's learned that being a senior and a graduate that you can finish things. And, and, uh, and then to go out and be a part of this group, it, it's, it's, it's a testament about uh, Coach D giving you the opportunity and you taking advantage of it. So and that's what that's all about. And then we're proud of what he's doing. What about Indiana's offensive line? What do you see there? Well, uh, the left side's probably the most experienced. They do have a right tackle that's come back and played uh, against us last year. Uh, but what I see is a young, aggressive group that know what they're trying to get done. Uh, it starts with their, their left tackle, who does a tremendous job over there. And uh, he's a kid that uh, I think he leads the group. Uh, and uh, so, But they're young, they're sophomores, but they've had a chance to play as true freshmen and, and redshirt freshmen. But 
what they ask them to do, they get done, that's for sure. And uh, seems to be very interchangeable, it's probably inside more than outside. Pretty consistent at the left and right tackle. When they throw the ball, do they get it out as quickly as they've done in the past in terms of throwing it and releasing it? Well, based on who's in the game, they get it out just as quick as they before. I think they play to the strengths of the quarterback that's in the game. I think uh, the other kid, Lego, had had a quicker release and what he had to get done. And this kid, can, his mobility has allowed him to do other things and, and it creates a triple threat. But I think they get the ball out in a timely manner, regardless of who's in the game. For all this talk about finishing, you guys are still winning these games as opposed to last year where you had leads and kind of let them go. Have you noticed anything different from your guys that's led to them finding a way at the end to close it out, regardless of how ugly it looks? Finding ways to win, that's that's the answer right there because each week it's different and uh, we can Go back to last year where we were up in a lot of games, and we're using that as a as an example, as a, a classroom showing of, of guys of when we finish and when we don't finish, and is it us or is it them? And uh, I think us taking account of what we did last year and improving upon it has been a key for us this year. But more importantly, the opportunity uh, to get as many guys on the field has been good with these young guys. So the experience, the understanding of what we did and learning from it, I think that's been key for us in having the opportunity to win this year.